Gavin O'Connor may not be the best director, he's been at the helm of decent yet forgettable movies like Jane Got a Gun and The Accountant, but I will always love him for creating 2011's Warrior. Warrior is one of my top 10 favorite films of all time, so I will always be interested in seeing whatever he directs. And now, he has reteamed with Ben Affleck to give us a character-driven sports movie. Former high school player Jack Cunningham once had a promising career in basketball. He was praised by everyone he knew, but after some personal issues, he threw in the towel and gave up on the game. Now, as a grown adult, Jack has fallen into alcoholism and is commonly known as the town drunk. But he may find some redemption when he's given the opportunity to coach the now terrible basketball team that he used to play for. Now, sports dramas are pretty formulaic. There have been so many over the years that you know exactly what to expect. A basketball team is comprised of players who don't work well together, and as a result, the team does quite poorly. And it isn't until someone who shows the players how to utilize their individual talents can the team find its strengths and actually start winning. You've seen this story a hundred times before, it's the ultimate underdog tale. But The Way Back does try to break from that mold just a bit by focusing on the personal drama of Coach Cunningham. And while I respect the film for trying to be different, I almost wish it did adhere more to the formula. Who doesn't love cheering for the underdog team by the end of the movie? Well, The Way Back kind of denied me of that cheerfulness. There is no climactic basketball match at the end of the film, pitting our ragtag group of losers against the best basketball team in the league. Instead, the finale of the film focuses on Cunningham hitting rock bottom with his alcoholism. And on the one hand, I like that the movie doesn't feel Hollywoodized. The film is much more realistic for showing us what can happen after the satisfying, climactic, often sugar-coated, Hollywoodified ending. But since the third act of the film starts after what feels like should be the movie's natural ending, the story feels like it had an odd structure. It just feels weird and overlong, even though the running time is only an hour and 40 minutes. And that odd structure doesn't just affect the final act. The entire film feels like it's playing a balancing act, juggling Cunningham's personal life with coaching this basketball team. And I'm not sure if those two storylines are balanced properly. We get a good sense of who Jack Cunningham is, obviously, but we don't get a good sense of who the players he's coaching are. The film will focus on a few random characters, seemingly without any rhyme or reason, but these characters aren't really fleshed out. I don't get to know the players on a personal level, I don't understand their team dynamic, and I don't even comprehend basketball coaching terminology, so the development of this team as a whole feels pretty basic and surface level. The saving grace of this movie is Ben Affleck. He's very good and he carries the movie all on his own. Of course, Affleck's performance is likely enhanced by the fact that he can probably relate this story to his own life and his own struggles with alcohol. So that does help the film feel quite personal, and even true on some level. Though the movie is not based on a true story, that downward spiral or ongoing fight with alcoholism is something I'm sure many people will be able to relate to. So The Way Back is more of a character study than a sports movie. You don't get to cheer during the climactic basketball game, but you do get to root for and connect with Coach Cunningham during this difficult time in his life. The film isn't about if some sports team wins a game or not. It's about how we all grow as people. How someone can come in and out of our lives, even if for a short period, and still have a profound impact on shaping who we become, even if we don't notice that impact ourselves. That's the effect our interactions have on one another. And that's a pretty compelling theme to think about. Because I would likely give the way back three and a quarter out of five stars. Thanks for watching.